Hey guys, on this episode, I'm going to be unboxing, putting together, and test driving my new e-bike. So if you've ever thought about getting an e-bike, this is your episode. I am super excited about this. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Everything 101. So yeah, I did a thing. I bought an e-bike. You know, I love to commute to work. Uh, it's about a four mile commute from my house to my job. Um, and I, you know, I love to get out in the mornings and uh, get a little riding in, enjoy the fresh air. But the problem is I get there a little bit sweaty. And so I was thinking about, you know, especially with gas prices being the way they are, I was thinking about what would be a great way to be able to not have to drive, uh, commute outside, enjoy the outdoors, and uh, you know, not burn a lot of gas, but not also get really sweaty. So I decided to look at e-bikes, and I've been looking for quite a while. So I landed on this one. It's by a Chinese company. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because you know I'll butcher it. I don't speak Chinese, but here's the name right here on the screen. Uh, I'm also gonna put a link in the description below. Um, to this specific bike on Amazon. <clears throat> but this bike has uh, basically three modes. You can do just pedal only, just like a, like a normal bike. You can do pedal assist, where the, the bike will actually kind of gauge things and kick in as necessary on heels, tough spots. Um, and then you've got just throttle only. And so I'm really excited to try this thing out, looking at the top speeds of around 25 to 30 miles per hour. I don't know. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm ready to unbox this thing and check it out. Let's go. Bike rack. Yes. All right, it just says the key to the battery is inside this package. Gotta make sure we don't lose that. Got the wheel. Turn the stem forward, do not turn the whole fork. Okay, here we go. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is put the handlebars on. All you gotta do is pop these little four screws out and put your handlebars on. It's already attached to the bike when you get it in the box. And put the screws back in, position it like you want it, tighten them up. So far, knock on wood, pretty simple. So I'm trying to position the handlebars like I would want them if I'm riding the bike. Handlebars in place, check. So I got them positioned rel relatively where I think I would want them. But cool thing is like if I ever want to change them, I can just do it very easily. So no problem. All right, what's next? All right, so now we just gotta make the bike straight and tighten up the, the main screw here uh, for the to hold everything in place for the front wheel. All right, so we got it. Now we just gotta put the little cap back in and you won't even see that screw. Very cool. All right, what's next? All right, now we're ready to install the front wheel. 
Okay, we have to remove the fork spacer that protects it during shipping and turn the bike upside down, put the front wheel on. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna turn the bike upside down, but I'm also noticing that there's a screen here and there's a lot of different gadgets here on the handlebar. So I'm gonna use some padding to make sure that I have something soft to set it on because I am on concrete right now. Now we have to put the front wheel on the fork. Okay, so we just put the front tire in. <clears throat> First of all, the front tire has this little cap on it. You just gotta pull that thing off. It's just for shipping. But you got the screws on the side of the wheel. You just take those off. The wheel sets straight down in there. There's a little disc on the side of the front tire. That disc goes on this side. So like if you're riding the bike, it's gonna go on the left side. So when you flip it over, it's gonna be on your right, but it just slides. You can see the disc slides straight down into that little caliper grafter there. Uh, and then I think we're ready to tighten the wheel up. Okay, so you're gonna put the bolts back on the side of the wheel. You got these little, uh, fasteners here they got a little lip on them those you can see they go straight into the, the little hole that's there on the tire it's pretty easy to figure out so far then just tighten up your bolts so i gotta say that so far the instructions are pretty easy to follow i kept reading reviews that they were All right, that wheel is in there, good to go. All right, time to put the seat in. All you gotta do is unleash, just loosen that up, throw it in. Very easy to do, just like any other bike seats. All right, looks like we're gonna put the light on the front now. All right, this is making sense now. You gotta use the same screw to attach the light as you are the fender. There's only one place to do that, so that's how you do that. Okay guys, so when you first put your rear fender on, it's gonna look super high like this because the uh, the piece of metal that comes off the fender goes like this and around. So the only way to get it in, the, get the bolt in there to the pole is to pull it way up like this. But your, uh, your rear rack there that we're about to put on is gonna push that thing back down where it goes. Okay, the rack is assembled. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, when you put the rack and the, the bolts in for the rack, don't tighten them up all the way. Leave them pretty loose, just get them started, leave them loose until you get all the screws in, and then you can tighten all four of them up. All right, so we're getting close. Pretty much all we gotta do is put these pedals on, and I think we're almost ready to go. For the left one, you gotta turn it counterclockwise, not clockwise. You just always right, tight, left, loose. You gotta do this one the other way. Okay, pretty much the last thing is getting the battery pack up and running, hooked up. It's a good thing this is an e-bike because this thing is heavy. This puts some weight on your bike for sure. All right, here we go. All right, the battery is on. Now it says turn the key to lock the battery. Okay. Crazy. All right, guys, the e-bike is assembled. 
you notice that I got a black bike with red. It just looks really awesome. You can get it with black with blue. You can get it white with red, white with yellow, white with green. There's a lot of really cool colors. But anyway, check out the link down there. It's time to let the battery finish charging and take it for a ride. All right, guys, we got the bike all put together. So now it's time to show you the features that it has and take a test drive. So you can see I added my own side mirror here and we've got left handle grip, the brake there. Here's your gear shifter. This is your display right here. It's going to show your speed when you're going, um, when you have the bike on in pedal assist or in throttle mode, you have five speeds there. Here's our battery power and this is how fast we're going. It displays in kilometers and this is our trip meter. You can see I did put my own uh, phone holder on it and yes I do have a garage door opener because usually I have to text my wife and say hey can you open the garage door while I'm riding and I just tell my phone to text her the other gear shifter here uh, there's your key and here's your throttle that if you, if you want to just go in throttle mode do have a, a horn under here and a light so pretty cool I'm gonna take it for a ride now and uh, we're gonna start out um, in pedal assist mode. So I'm gonna start pedaling and see what happens. And then I'll try it in full throttle and see how fast we can get this thing going. I'm going to put my helmet on, very, very important. All right guys, so bike's pretty amazing. When you go in throttle mode, like I say, it's, it's, when you, uh, it's getting up about close to 40 on flat surfaces, it's getting close to 40 kilometers per hour. But when you get, you get going down a hill, um, we're hitting about 50. So it's topping out at about 30, 31, 32 miles per hour, something like that. But uh, it's a pretty amazing bike. And again, like when you're in pedal assist and, and you start to pedal, 
up a hill, like hills are nothing. It just, it just feels like somebody goes, oh, he's on a hill, let's push him. And then you start going up the hill. So um, <clears throat> I think you could get the same cardio workout. I don't know that you would get the same muscular workout unless you have a lot of uh, tension on your gears. But anyway, very cool bike. I think I'm gonna keep it. Uh, this may be my new ride to work.